Jesus. Lord, we want to say thank you tonight for the freedom that you've given to us. Lord, the power of your Spirit working mightily in our hearts tonight. We want to thank you for your name, Jesus, that in your name we've got all the power that we need to crush the enemy. We've got all the answers that we need, Lord, in this difficult thing called life. You are the one that gives us reason, Lord. You're the one that gives our life meaning, and we want to say thank you tonight. I will praise you with all of my in you, Lord, my strength is in you, Lord, my hope is in you, Lord, in you, it's in you. My life is in you, Lord, my strength is in you, Lord, my hope is in you, Lord, in you. My life is in you, my life is in you.
Proverbs 18.10 says the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous will run in and they will be saved. How many of you tonight are safe in the name of Jesus? He is our tower. He's our rock of deliverance. He's our mighty God. We're going to sing for the Lord is my tower. And as we do, let it get on in the inside of you. The victory that Jesus has won for us. For the Lord is my tower, and he gives me the power to tear down the works of the enemy. In a difficult hour, he will crush the devourer and bring the powers of darkness underneath my feet. For the Lord is my tower. teach you some actions to this song that will let you allow the victory that the Lord's given you to get on into the inside of your heart. All right, everyone do this. For the Lord is my tower, and he gives me the power. Do this like a big he-man. Yeah, that looks good. To tear down the work. Good. Of the enemy. Now give the enemy a big boot. Yeah, that looks good. In a difficult hour, now what do you do in a difficult hour? You pray, you call out to God, say, help me, Lord. Let's do that together. Everyone say, help me, Lord. All right. All right. The Lord himself will come from heaven and crush the enemy. I want you to do this with it now. You go like this. And go. And crush Satan down under the power of the Lord. Here we go. Are you ready? The last part says that we are exalted with Christ together in heavenly places. Far above all principality and power, we're seated together with him. Which means that the devil's underneath his feet, so the devil is underneath our feet. Do you believe it tonight? Well, do a little victory dance on the powers of darkness right now, where you are. Oh yeah, Jesus. Thank you for your name. Thank you for your word. Let's sing it now. For oh, the Lord is and he gives me the power to tear down the works of the enemy. In a he will crush the power and bring the power. Come on, everyone. Underneath my feet. Sing it again. For the Lord is my power. And he gives me the power. Underneath my feet. Blessed be the name of the Lord. 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 The Most High. Blessed be. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. The Most High. The name of the Lord, the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run into it, and they are saved. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run into it.
sing about the name of Jesus Christ, the name of the Lord. And it's our desire tonight that we would just lift His name above all other names. Can you just close your eyes for a moment and say this name, Jesus. Say it again, Jesus. What does that name mean to us tonight? What does it mean to you tonight? When I speak the name of Jesus, it's as though I can see His face and I can sense His arms wrapped around me. And I realize that there's so much power and dynamic in that name that my life forever has been changed. Praise His name. That's what we're going to do tonight. Let's do it now.
You did not wait for me to draw out to you, but you loved yourself with frail humanity. What a truth! You did not wait for me to cry out to you, but you let me hear your voice calling me, and I. Tonight, we've got so much to be grateful to the Lord for. My mind goes back 16 years as I, as a 17-year-old atheist, with my hard heart against the things of God, I used to write songs against God. I used to blaspheme His name. I thought Jesus Christ was a fable and a fairy tale, and I would make no bones about sharing that with other people. But in the mercy of the Lord, 16 years ago, Jesus showed himself to me to be very, very real and to be the God that saves and the God that heals and the God that restores. And I'll remember never to the end of my days will I ever forget what I prayed at the edge of my bed. I said, God, I don't know if you're real. How many of you know that you can be honest when you pray to the Lord? This is it. I was just being honest. I said, God, I don't know if you're real. If you're not, then I'm only wasting 20 seconds of my life by praying to you right now. But if you are real, I want you. And in that moment, the Lord just exploded into my life. Well, I didn't feel it at that moment, but by the next morning, I couldn't swear anymore. My life was changed. As I would read the Bible, it would suddenly make so much sense to me. It was alive with meaning. It was vibrant and powerful. And I just thank him so much because 16 years have come and gone, and it's been sweeter and sweeter every day. Let's just close our eyes in the presence of the Lord now and sing that verse again to this song, Forever Grateful. And let's sing it from our hearts, our gratitude to the Lord tonight. Let's stand together. You did not wait for me to draw near to you, but you clothed yourself with frail humanity. You did not wait for me to cry out to you, but you let me hear your voice calling me, and I'm forever. Seek and save the lost. 
I sing praises to your name. Oh Lord, praises to your name. Oh Lord, for your name is great. Your name is great and greatly to be praised. I sing praises to your name. I give glory to your
Hallelujah. The Lord tells us in his word that God Almighty is enthroned upon our praise. And as we worship, he builds a throne where he is enthroned and made king over this place and over our hearts. We're just going to continue to worship in the spirit. I encourage you tonight, get lost in the glory cloud of the Lord's presence and you will be changed tonight. I said at the beginning of the night, is there anyone here that wants to be changed? If you want to be changed, lift your hands to the Lord and say, I want you, Lord. I want you to change my heart. I want you to fill me with your spirit, Lord. I want to worship you in spirit and in truth. Now just begin to sing the song of the Lord, a new song, a song that comes from your heart. A song of praise and deliverance, a song of beauty, a song of power, a song of love to the lover of our souls. Hallelujah. of the Lord and you will never change And you will never 
Let's bow before the Lord. Let's give him praise. Worthy is the Lamb. Worthy is the Lamb. I stand. Stand, I stand in awe of you. I stand in awe. I stand, I stand in awe of you. I stand, I stand in awe of you. Holy God, to whom all praise. Allow yourself to get lost in his presence as we stand before him. Hallelujah, Lord. We worship you, Jesus. Glory forever. And I cry.
in the presence, in the presence of your glory. All my crowns lie in the dust. You are righteous in your judgments, Lord. You are
stand before the Lord just quietly reverently before him could be that through the gifts of the spirit that there would be prophetic word or tongues with interpretation tonight if you sense that upon your heart and upon your spirit then I just encourage you speak it forth I believe the Lord does want to say his heart to us tonight we just wait before him now
presence of the Lord is so special tonight. I don't know what the Lord has said to you during this time that we've been around His throne, but there could be some here you just really feel a desire to come and just stand before Him, minister unto Him, give your life afresh to Him tonight. If that's your heart tonight, let's not leave this place until we've done just that. We're not going to prolong the evening, but we just want to take a few more moments before the Lord, before we wrap it up tonight, and let Him finish the surgery that He's doing upon lives tonight. Just a gentle sense of His presence. Lord, you see our hearts. We want to worship you in spirit and truth. We've come before your presence as you told us we're to come with praise and thanksgiving in our hearts. We bow before you Put your hand upon your heart today. Lord, prepare me to be a sanctuary, pure and holy, tried and true, with thanksgiving.
the powers of darkness underneath my feet. Bring the power, bring the powers of darkness underneath my feet. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, glory to the with your mouth Yeshua is Lord and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead you will be saved Romans 10 9